This is Danny with Quad Lugs and we're going to set up the Flysky i6S. Very similar to the Turnigy i6S. So either one will program the same. So let's get started. First, let's go into system. We'll look at our models. It's on model one. If you have different models, in other words, if you have different craft you're flying, you can choose whichever one you want to fly and it'll be set up next time you need to use it but we're going to go to model one that's our first one and we'll move down and that's pretty much all we're going to do at this time in system now I would highly suggest obviously to go through your manual and get to know it but there's tons of information on the internet and YouTube about this transmitter so I would suggest to check it out now let's go to function and we're going to go to auxiliary channels channel 6 we're going to pick a switch and we're going to this is A, B, C and D we're going to choose B Let's go to channel 7, and again we're going to choose a switch, A, B, C. We'll go to channel 8, pick a switch, A. We'll go to channel 9, pick a switch, A, B, C, D. We're going to choose D. And that should be about it there. We're going to take care of fail safe a little bit later when we're on the computer programming the controller. But right now we're just setting up the transmitter. So let's get out of there. So now we're going to fly mode. We'll turn it on. We're going to go to channel 7. And what that means is that this switch is going to control channel 7 on your receiver. So let's go to switch 1. And we're going to use this switch here, A, B, C. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's go to model. Let's use this key to go back. We'll capitalize it. We'll pick uppercase and we'll put here G P S. Let's go back. Now we're going to flip the switch to the middle. We're still in A, B, C, C switch. Let's go here and we'll back out here. Again, uppercase and we'll put A. T T I lower switch once again we'll back out uppercase and you'll see here as we move through it you'll have GPS Addy and Addy that's attitude mode we're going to finish setting it up on the controller when we're connected to the computer but again we're setting up the transmitter at this time now that we have this all done let's go here if you noticed GPS Addy and Addy this is going to allow us to adjust to different switch positions right now they're all in the same position so let's do this we're in GPS let's go here and we're going to increase that to 2000 and now you'll see in the middle position it's 1520 1520 now 2000 
Okay, so let's swipe to the left twice. Here we move the throttle and you'll see that channel 3 moves. That was our reasoning when we were connecting the receiver. We move the rudder. Let's move in channel 4. The elevator or pitch. It's moving channel 2. Aileron. It's moving channel 1. Just the way we set it up. Switch A is going to operate one of your release mechanisms. You can see it working there on channel 8. D is going to control one of your other release mechanisms. You can see it number 9. This is going to be the switch for intelligent control and we'll get into that when we're on the computer setting up the controller. But you can see it moving here, channel 6. This is your mode switch and this is going to be this is going to be channel 7. You can see it moving there. So we're all set up and we'll swipe to the right and we were just double checking. Now when you move your mode switch you can see it here. We're ready to go to the controller and tie it into the computer.